Minister, Mayor, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let me start by reminding uh, us all on the fact that uh, one year ago, uh, in September uh, 2014, uh, the heads of state and uh, government in NATO made a very important uh, decision about uh, Montenegro. And uh, at our uh, summit in uh, Wales, uh, we decided uh, that uh, we were going to establish a focused and intensified uh, uh, talks with uh, Montenegro. And uh, the heads of state and, uh, and government, they recognized the progress that uh, this nation has made in pursuing reform, in uh, contributing to international security, in promoting cooperation within the Western uh, Balkans. The uh, result was an unprecedented decision by NATO to launch a year of intensified and focused talks, leading to a decision due this December on whether to invite Montenegro to join the North Atlantic uh, Alliance. This is why the Council is in Montenegro uh, today. This working visit uh, provides the opportunity for the representatives of the 28 democracies uh, that make up uh, NATO to see and hear for themselves. And we will not only hear from the government, we will also hear from a number of members of parliament. Those who have doubts about NATO have also been uh, invited. As an alliance of democracies, NATO is familiar with hearing different views and uh, different uh, opinions. Every one of our meetings offers such uh, opportunities. This is one of our strengths, but allowing us to reach better decisions, supported by all. Every ally has an equal voice. NATO enhances security and stability and at the same time respects the differences among its members. The prosperity, success, success and freedom which our societies enjoy depend on security. Our security is too often taken for granted, but without security, little else can be built. In the few years since regaining its independence, Montenegro has made great efforts and has achieved a great deal. In close cooperation with NATO, Montenegro has reformed its armed forces and its intelligence services. These organizations are not getting bigger, they are getting better. More professional and able to face the challenges of the 21st century. During today's uh, meeting, the North Atlantic Council will hear in detail about the steps Montenegro is taking in the area of rule of law and on the question of public understanding and support for NATO membership. Within the rule of law, significant changes have been introduced. New laws have been adopted, structures have been informed, uh, reformed uh, or created. It is now important for Montenegro to show that these new systems are performing, delivering the results for which they were created. As an alliance of democracies, NATO believes that it is important that citizens understand the alliance and the values on which it is built. The Council will hear about the latest situation, the topics of debate in, Mont in, in the Montenegrin society, and the questions that people are asking. In the spirit of debate and discussion, I would also like to mention the recently adopted parliamentary declaration in support of uh, Montenegro's uh, NATO membership. This was a very welcome step, and not only because a significant majority of MPs voted for the declaration, but also because it shows Montenegro's parliament playing its role in the discussion on this vital, uh, important strategic question for Montenegro. 
With that, by way of opening, I will pause for a moment whilst the media leave the room uh, before we uh, start uh, the uh, meeting. So thank you.